Hawaii Prepper at Walmart and Sam's today. Just checking out a couple prices here, letting you know what the prices are like in our state of Hawaii. So Sam's Club definitely has high prices and you can tell just by all the paper goods here, the toilet papers, the paper towels, incredible. I'm afraid to come here within the next week or so to look at the prices. Um, definitely higher inflationary prices going on. The eggs here as well, as well as the canned meats that we have here. But overall, Sam's Club still has quite a lot of product on hand. And so that's a good thing. But it is very, very expensive. Now at Walmart, you can see all the bacon we have here. And these are really high prices. The eggs as well. So stock up, folks. Do not wait. The mason jars also went up significantly in our state. Um, the covers here are just ridiculous. And then I went down a couple of the aisles to take a look at the amount of items they have on hand. But it looks more or less pretty much stocked with a few gaps here and there and so stock up folks while you can while the prices are still somewhat affordable in your neck of the woods in my neck of the woods the prices are just skyrocketing um it's crazy state of hawaii california as well as new york has basically the highest prices around in everything and so get your preps going do not procrastinate look for sales discounts clearance use your rewards program um, dollars in whatever stores that you do frequent and try other products you know try off-brand products because a lot of them are just as good now I went down the soup aisles here a couple more gaps here and there but more or less Walmart is basically still stocked and so my thinking is they're still gonna have food uh, the only issue will be is will we be able to afford it? Will you be able to afford to not purchase things now versus later? So you really need to ask yourself that question. You want to, you know, you want to fasten the prices or, or fasten those prices now because it's only going to get higher the pasta is still spotty but we still have you know quite a lot still here um, but I noticed that pastas you know pasta and pet food are usually kind of low a few gaps here in the spaghetti sauce mixes but not too bad there's still a lot here the salad dressings look kind of spotty but the prices are really expensive and they've gotten really really high here and so whenever i go out i'm really selective and i do my best to get whatever it is on my list that is needed and not get sidetracked off of something else now here's the ramen we haven't gotten in um, these other ramens 
but we have a lot of these types now I don't know I guess it's taking place of the other one um, but I don't want to try that I have enough now here's the tuna section um, it looks not too bad some gaps here the spam luncheon meat section here but everything has become and will get higher. This is the canned ham. Before, this was two something or three something a while back. Now this tuna here is the top of the line tuna. Um, it's pole and line caught. It's the number one tuna, if you can afford it, because it's $5.32 a can. So that's pretty steep here. There are three brands that are the top brand. Walmart has this one. This is the number one brand. Pet aisle, kind of empty in the cat dry food here. It looks like a lot of people raided this section of the cat dry food. Um, yeah, bulk up on your pet food, folks. Here's the can. So bulk up. Have a great day, guys. Aloha.